Welcome to our coverage of ASUG Annual Conference in Sapphire Now 2014. We are in the ASUG Nudes studio, which is sponsored by NTT Data. And I'm delighted to be here with a couple guys today. We're going to talk about uh, BJ Wholesale Club's migration from SAPW to HANA. Guys, welcome in the studio. Thank to you. my right, right here is Rajesh Gupta from Deloitte. Thank yep. you for being in here. Mm -hmm. I know you're excited about this. You've been yes. thinking about this for weeks and planning. Yep. Thanks for coming in the studio. Thank you. And Matthew Simoncini from BJ's Wholesale Club. Yep. Thanks nice for being here, Tom. Thank you, guys. So, um, this is a story that a lot of people want to know about. How do they get, you know, the BW and get it on Hana? And what are the success? I know you guys have a great story uh, to tell. First, for those people who have not been to a BJ's Wholesale Club and do not know what it is, Matthew, can you tell us just a little bit about the company. Sure. Uh, BJ's Wholesale Club uh, is a uh, membership-based club uh, based on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, locations in 15 states, uh, anywhere from Maine all the way down to uh, Florida, and we're expanding at about uh, seven clubs per year. Wow. And what do you do there for BJ's? So my uh, job at um, BJ's Wholesale is the SAP uh, Technology Manager. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, my primary responsibility is to uh, make sure that our SAP systems are available for our customers. And the users and can't go down at all and got to be up all the time and be uh, working pretty, if you ask If you ask our customers, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How big of a SAP shop do you guys maintain? Well, uh, we have uh, over 100 uh, servers, mm -hmm. uh, both virtual as well as uh, physical. Yep. Uh, we have about 30 terabytes of storage uh, and our uh, SAP products uh, vary from ECC to BW on HANA, process integration. Uh, pretty much we run the gamut of SAP products. Mm -hmm. So with the, uh, the BW on HANA, mm -hmm. you guys have a very cool story that you shared with other ASUG members about why you did this. A lot of, for a lot of ASUG members with BW on HANA, that's their first way to kind of dip their toes in the water. But you mm -hmm. guys were thinking a little bit bigger when you went. Can you tell us just a little bit about the backstory of that? Yep, sure. Um, so our, our uh, story uh, about our migration from BW on Oracle to BW on HANA is, is a little bit different than most other customers. We went live uh, with SAP uh, last year in uh, April, mm -hmm. and we started looking uh, forward uh, to what our, our business needs would be in the next one to two years. Mm -hmm. um, and it made a lot of sense for us to um, Look at BW and HANA uh, purely because of the the, um, the the business requirements that we 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 saw out in front of us. So we weren't really trying to address any uh, performance issues or size uh, issues where a lot of customers are faced with that because we're still a fairly new SAP um, uh, imp implementation. Mm -hmm. So we were really looking out for uh, what would the requirements be over the ne next couple of years, and could HANA um, be the foundation. Um, and like you said, we sort of dipped our toes in the water with um, BW on HANA. Right. So t tell us about Deloitte's uh, part in this and what you guys were able to bring to the, to the project. So Deloitte, uh, on this project, uh, I was more like a HANA SME mm -hmm. and a migration consultant on the project. My mm -hmm. role was more to advise them on the infrastructure selections, going through the process. As you know, that HANA was pretty new at that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, Deloitte is a implementation partner to implement the retail functionality mm -hmm. and we are SI for the project. So was this a fairly typical project that you guys saw? Were there some differences in there or how did that work? This was a little different because they were moving from the traditional uh, legacy system to the SAP. They were mm -hmm. new SAP implementator. Mm -hmm. So this is a little bit challenge like, hey, you are coming to the SAP first time. Definitely you are going to have a lot of uh, users problems. You have to make the whole lift and shift from the uh, different uh, landscape to the SAP landscape. Mm -hmm. And on the top, then you had to implement HANA, which was pretty new. So this was a little bit challenging, but just good experience. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> One of the things that I hear from members is, you know, building that initial business case mm -hmm. for HANA and BW and HANA for many companies is that is that first step. Was that hard for you guys? Or it sounds like maybe you, it really wasn't. You guys had that business case pretty well thought out and were thinking two steps ahead almost. Uh, yeah, we uh, because we went live with SAP in two separate releases. Our mm -hmm. first release was relatively small. It was the, the foundation of SAP. It was mostly finance and procurement. Mm -hmm. um, our business case really came out of our second release uh, where we we're starting to implement uh, the IS retail solution mm -hmm. and the data volumes that were going to be driven through our BW system 
uh, for a, po a point of sale uh, data management, POSDM, really kind of built a strong business case to say, you know what, let's do this now before we go live with our second release so that we truly have the platform of the future in place. That's great, very strategic on your, yeah. on your guys' part. So the, it's done, right? I mean, we got some, be some cool business benefits to talk about. What have you guys seen? Um, so I think from a, a business perspective, um, some of the, 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 the best benefits that we saw, we clearly saw uh, performance improvements mm -hmm. in, in uh, reports that were delivered to the business. Uh, we definitely saw a reduction of um, disk usage because uh, of the way that uh, optim um, I'm okay. sorry, uh, the way that compression works mm -hmm. with HANA, um, and, and I think we we saw uh, during the implementation. I think we, you know, we probably hit some bumps along the way, yeah. but since we we've, we've gone live, we've seen uh, an extremely uh, stable production environment uh, in a scale out VW on HANA environment. That's great. So, what would your advice be um, to customers who are considering? you know, taking that step with, with BW on HANA. What, what are some of those insights you would give them? For free, actually, no charging for this, this is free. <laughs> so, we, we all know that, hey, HANA is the future, right? Mm -hmm. HANA has definitely, you're talking about the real time, and if you look at every customer, they are all looking for the speed, right? Mm -hmm. They all want a real time data. As the technology is growing, we all, we need to step up there, right? That's the future plan, and this is what we did. Now, the customer, those who are on the traditional database, right? they need to start planning ahead. Because at, in, the, in the long run, or somewhere in the next four to five years, they will come to the HANA as the HANA start keeping evolving more, right? More and more, this is what the SAP direction is. Right. And that's what we suggested DJs on the same is like, hey, it's, it's better to be already setting up the stage for the future, right. where you need not to, because as the more you delay, the more tough is going to be a project for yeah. you for transitioning that one. So for these guys, as they started SAP, mm -hmm. and within a year, they moved to HANA, it was very, not a, like a really a critical or very challenging project for us. That's great. Yep. Wish, all, wish they could all be that easy, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so Matthew, I'll give you the last word here. As you would, you know, let's say you're hanging out here and a fellow ASUG member comes up and says, you know, give me that one nugget, that one piece of advice, you know, as, as someone's going through this, and what, what would you say to that person? You know, one, I think once a business decides uh, that they're going to uh, move to BW on HANA, and once that project starts to move forward, the key, absolutely the key, communication. Communication between your IT organization, the business, uh, the stakeholders. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to actually borrow a, a, you know, today someone told me they've never seen a project where over-communication was an issue. That's a great point. Great point. Mm -hmm. Well, gentlemen, thank you for coming in. We appreciate it, and uh, good to talk with you. Well, thanks thank for, you having, for us. having us. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. For more SAP customer stories, go to asugnews.com.